Hi, my name is Neil Saiham and the restaurant is Lumpia Shack Snack Bar. Lumpia is a Filipino spring roll. Traditionally, it's filled with ground pork, different minced vegetables and served with a sweet chili sauce. I started actually not as a cook. I was in advertising, I went to school, I started cooking for my friends, made lumpia for my friends, made different Filipino dishes for my friends, and then after school I graduated and went to, into advertising, and from there I just didn't want to be in front of a computer all day. So I went to culinary school at night uh, for a year, and then I went, to, went into a restaurant, gave it a try, and said, okay, maybe this is my life and eventually led me to opening up my own uh, stand and then own restaurant. So Filipino food is just getting there. We're still trying to bring it out to be a, like a, a top-notch uh, cuisine that people can turn to every day. But when people eat Filipino food, they can try salty, sweet, spicy, and also tangy. Definitely not a vegetarian-friendly cuisine. Mostly uh, Filipino food, a staple is pork. But uh, my wife is a vegetarian and there's a lot more vegetarian and vegan Filipinos than you would think. So we've, we've gotten a lot of our customers coming into our restaurant saying, wow, I didn't know that you could make Filipino food vegan or veg vegetarian. So they're very happy to find us in the West Village and also here in Brooklyn at Bergen. So we'll be serving our truffle adobo mushroom lumpia. Uh, these traditionally is our lumpia. This is our mushroom version. We roll them up in house every day in the West Village. And then what we do is we cut them into three pieces. So we're gonna cut the lumpia first, proportionally into three. And then you can take a look inside these lumpia. They're all filled with mushroom. There's three types of mushrooms in there. Uh, we braise them in an adobo sauce. Adobo is a traditionally a Filipino a braised dish that consists of soy, garlic, vinegar, and bay leaves. Uh, typically it's more of like a style of cooking than a recipe because every region in the Philippines has their different type of adobo. So next we're gonna throw these in the deep fryer so, and fry up for about three to five minutes. After they get golden brown, we let them cool for a little bit, then we sprinkle them on salt, and then we finish them with the truffle aioli. Uh, a lot of our menu can be customized to be vegan friendly. So, you know, even if you look at item that has a meat dish in it, such as like a ramen burger, we can create a vegetarian option for it. So we bring in uh, products such as uh, monk's meat seitan, which is produced in Brooklyn, to be a, as a, a meaty alternative for vegetarians and vegans. We use high quality tofu to, to supplement the, you know, vegetarian products and soy products and create, recreate Filipino dishes using these products. What we're trying to do here in New York is trying to for us, at least, is to create a Filipino inspiration. So we inspire Filipino food, but we don't, we're not technically authentic to Filipino food. So being having these vegetarian dishes and other dishes, I think that it's a stepping stone to leading to the, a bigger picture where Filipino food can be put on the map. Our mushroom lumpia, the truffle double mushroom lumpia, probably is even more popular than the original pork. This is our truffle uh, aioli. It's made with uh, egg yolks, uh, black truffles, and then we emulsify it with some canola oil. And we put it on top, just a nice layer. And then we just finish it off over here with some of our uh, pickled house uh, Thai bird chilies. They give it their little nice heat. Uh, it's a contrast to the aioli and the truffles, and it gives it a nice bite. And that's it. And we have our truffled adobo mushroom lumpia. Uh, the, the thing that gets me, and I, I almost have to laugh, is when people thank me for having vegan options. It's, it's like... Why are you thanking me?